Weather Authority with Chief Meteorologist Jesse Walker. Hey everybody, we'll be wrapping up the month tomorrow night slightly, very slightly below normal in precipitation. It's been a while since we've had a month with above. December, November, October, September, all below normal. The last time we had a month above normal precip, way back in August. So the dry weather continues, or at least drier than normal. Also wanted to show you this. This uh, January will end up being the warmest January in 17 years. The last time we had one warmer was 2006. Even though it started warm, it's ending cold. And I wanted to show you this. On January the 3rd, we hit 62 near record high. Tonight into tomorrow morning, we'll be down around 12, wind chills to zero. And for the winter, our temperature swings. That 62 is the warmest we've seen. A couple days before Christmas, it was 10 below. 72 degree swing in the temperature. Some wild temperature swings so far this winter. And I talked last Friday about this map here, about the big battle zone I thought was going to happen. Bitter cold to the northwest. A lot of rain to the south and a front right here where we'd see areas of low pressure riding along the front that sets the battle zone for ice just barely south of this area. Something we'd be keeping an eye on. Well, that's exactly what's happening just south of this area. We had a little bit of that early today, but now look at this. This is all for coming up in the next couple of days where you've got ice storm warnings, you've got winter storm warnings, you've got the bitter cold with the wind chill advisories down south though. Could be some serious ice from uh, portions of Texas into Oklahoma, Arkansas. By the way, this is an ice storm warning already for Arkansas over towards Memphis. For us, it's just south of here with a winter weather advisory. I think most of this is going to pass just barely south of this area tonight and early tomorrow. 32 was the high. We've been dropping all day. We're down to 21 now. That's our low so far today. Trace amounts of precip today. Freezing rain, freezing drizzle, some snow, just enough to make roads slick out there. And the side roads are still slick, so take it easy out there. On on the side roads, the parking lots, and things like that. River Stage in Terre Haute is about six and a half feet. It is currently holding steady. Here's what we're tracking. Very cold tonight. Coldest of the entire month. Near zero wind chills. Cold week overall, but warmer by the end of the weekend and an early next week. If you want warmer weather, you don't have to wait too long, but it's still several days away. 21 in the air, at the airport in Terre Haute, 9. The wind chill is 9. That'll be dropping later on. These are the current temperatures. It's very cold out there, but the wind chill, 5 in Paris, it's down to one in Champaign, so we're seeing the cold air move in. Here's what it's going to feel like as we get into the overnight hours down near zero between four, five, six, seven, eight o'clock in the morning, and then temperatures will rebound after that. Moisture is mostly south of this area as far as the deeper moisture, and on the satellite image, you can see that ice down to the south with the ice snow mix. For us, not much other than cloud cover across the area right now. We're all clean on the Dorset Automotive Doppler radar. I wanted to show you how close this is going to be down near the Ohio River, some areas of ice out there as we get into the overnight hours, and then another wave comes up after that. But again, I think it's mostly just south of this area. We just miss out, which is good news for us on that winter mix. So here's your forecast then for tonight. We'll be looking for cold weather to move in. Wind chills will be down near zero. Air temperatures will drop down to around 10 or 12. So it's going to be a cold night tonight. There's no doubt about that. Very cold weather across the valley for tonight. And that cold weather is going to carry you into the day coming up for tomorrow as well. So tonight will drop down to about 12 degrees. Wind chills will be down around zero. During the day tomorrow, very cold. Daytime high into the mid-20s. It's going to stay cold as we take you through the end of the week. And right now it looks like warmer weather will be moving in once we hit the end of the weekend. And next week could be near 50 degrees one week from today. That's a wrap on your forecast sports right after the break. This is Union Health